Hello, good morning for all that are tuning in now or later. I just found like a really nice uh, tin list to go with this money food at practice. So you can also find it in the, I posted it below the link or below the post. And um, yeah, so you should, should be able to find it in the Facebook. below yesterday's post. <clears throat> and then we can start today with the solo plexus. So last week we started with the root and the sacral chakra. And we'll slowly move up. So this is the navel area or just above. And we'll first sink down to so take some breaths in a comfortable seated position, the leg shoulders, long tall spine, long neck. Let your head just relax on top of the neck. You can close your eyes if you want to. And then let's breathe in and breathe out through the mouth. One more deep one. It's really clearing out, expanding the lungs this morning. And I feel your sit bones on the ground. And feel the weight between your sit bones is equally distributed. Is your body weight tilted forward or back? And can you bring your shoulders on top of your sit bones? Relax shoulders, chest slightly lifted, your hands just resting on your thighs, your legs, maybe your knees. And let your roots ground down into the earth. And let all the energy of this morning settle down to the bottom of your spine. And then we'll make a mudra for the Manipura Chakra, which is the hands together, our thumbs crossed, and you bring it in front of this navel center. And the fingers are pointed forward. Shoulders are just relaxed. And then we envision in the center of our body, golden light, bright light, solar light, maybe a sun inside of your body, a fire. It might be small now, it might be bigger. Just tuning into that fire without changing anything. And then we let anything that we carry on our shoulders, any heaviness, any worries, the slight of the shoulders, the arms into this fire burning in the center of our body. And to activate this process, we will chant Ram. You can just focus on the center in your body. And first exhale out. Inhale. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 
Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Ram, Okay, come back to neutral breath. Keep your mudra in place. Now I'm going to read some of the affirmations to you. You can also read, um, say them out loud. So the first one is, I am connected to all that empowers me. I am connected to all that empowers me. I choose to take responsibility for my life. I choose to take responsibility for my life. I treat myself with honor and respect. I treat myself with honor and respect. I embody the fullness of my power. I embody the fullness of my power. I have the courage to follow my intuitive guidance. I have the courage to follow my intuitive guidance. I am unique and I'm confident to be me. I am unique and I am confident to be me. Now we'll tune into the breath of fire. So here you will be pumping the belly. You can keep the mudra or just relax the hands now. So we pump the belly, air comes out by the nose. And again. And then you can release the breath and slowly start to make some soupy grinds, slow, small circles from the hips. And throughout this practice, we will focus on the center of our body and imagine yourself being a starfish. And at your center, your brain is in your belly. And to balance this chakra, we'll tune into our confidence, our trust, our willpower. Turn the other way, small circles. And tune into your breath. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And then come to a step in the center. Now we drop the chin just to open up the neck, relax the neck, and then you chin to the left shoulder. 
Step back down into your right shoulder. Make sure you're gentle with your neck. This morning, just stretching. I'm feeling any tension over there. Maybe making some full circles, circles with the chin. We'll circle your neck as well. And the other way. Feel free to take any full breaths whenever you need them. We'll roll the shoulders slowly up, back and down. Good, waking up the body. Turn the shoulders the other way. And come to stillness in the left hand behind you on the ground. Inhale, reach your right arm up. And then bend to the sides, to the left, lifting up the right rib cage. Maybe you can come down all the way to the elbow. Maybe not. Let go of any ambition. Just stretching, stretching from the armpits to the hip. And the next inhale, come back up. And the right hand down on the ground. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Stretch over to the right. Opening up the right side of the body. Spreading the rib cage, breathing into the rib cage. And slowly come back up. And make your way to cat cow. So we come onto all fours. Remove any bolsters that you are using. Your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. Straight spine in between. Look down in between your hands so your neck is also in line with the spine. Close to the feet against the floor. And inhale, chin up. Tailbone out, belly down. Exhale, slowly round your spine. Like a cat. Inhale, arching the spine. Exhale, round the spine. You can also use a forward breath. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for four, three, two, one. In one, two, three, four, and exhale for four, three, two, one. To strengthen our core, we will come into some plank poses. So you place your hands maybe a little further forward, keep your shoulder distance, fingers wide, and then bring your toes back on the mat. Make sure the shoulders are on top of the wrists. Broaden the shoulders, so widen the space in between the shoulder blades. And draw the knee in the lower ribs. Press your heels back. Make yourself strong. Hold yourself together. And keep breathing. But just stay here for a couple of moments. Straight line from your shoulders to your hips to your heels. This is too much for you. You can always bring your knees. On that to half plank. We will go to side plank now. Right hands to the center of the mat. And turn onto your side, left arm up. You can always bring a left foot in front of you for support. Our full side plank is working for you. Maybe even a star plank. So raising the left leg up into the sky. Lift up from the shoulders. Left shoulder, reach up. And come back to your center. Back to your full plank again. Make sure strong, find your breath. Your left hand to the center of the mat and turn to the left. Put a side plank on the other side. Take your option. 
the supported side plank, star, or regular side plank. Reach up from the right shoulder, reach your core, and come back. Find your full plank, inhale, bend your elbows, slowly come down onto the mat. Well done, hands next to the shoulders. And inhale and exhale up into a cobra, low cobra. So keep the shoulders down, elbows to the hips. Just breathe here. Tops of the feet against the ground. And slowly come back down. Brush yourself back up into a downward facing dog. Bend your knees, right, left, feet are good distance. Relax your neck and your head. Get both heels up, press them down towards the floor. You don't need to touch. You can always bend your knees, bring the chest closer to your thighs. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Now look at your hands, walk your feet forward towards your hands. Feet hip distance, relax down from the hips, forward fold. Your spine relax, your neck relax. Feel how the weight is in your feet, so the inside and in the outside. In the front and the back. And then draw your navel into the spine and slowly start to round back up. One further again. Come to standing, roll the shoulders back and down. Good. And place your feet a little closer next to each other. Maybe the toes are even touching. Breathing into the solar center of your body, bringing everything to the midline of the body, all the energy from the top of your head down into the ground. Bring your hands together in front of the chest. And remember any of the affirmations. I'm confident. I respect myself. I can fully be myself. And we inhale, reach your arms overhead, hands together. And exhale. Inhale, reach up into the sky. Exhale, bend back. Inhale, back to center. Inhale, reach up and exhale, fold forward from the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders back. Exhale, hands down. Step your feet back into the plank. We'll stay here again a little longer. Make sure your hands are beneath the shoulders, draw the navel in, the lower ribs. And come to your side plank. Raise hands to the center, turn to the left. Um, yes, to the left. <laughs> Reach your left arm up. Maybe into the star, yes, beautiful, darling. <laughs> and come back to the full plank. Press your heels back, strong straight line. And now move to the other side. Pick your option. Tune into your own body. What does it mean today? Maybe challenge yourself a little. And come back to your full plank. Now bend your elbows to slowly come down. Lower high cobra. Feel your toes under, upward facing up, uh, down facing up. Take three deep breaths. Now 
After your last breath, inhale, reach your right heel up into the sky. Make sure your hips are next to each other. Press the heel away from you. Inhale and exhale, bend the right knee, step your feet forward on the inside of the right hands and come up into a warrior one. The left heel goes down to the floor. Make sure the hips are next to each other. Reach your arms up, pull the shoulders down. Check if your front knee is the top of the ankle. Strong, confident pose. Then we move out to the warrior two. So turn the back heel into 90 degree angle and reach your arms out to the side. Reach back, reach forward, find your center. And also engage your center. Look over your fingertips into the future. Breathe into the here and now. From here, we'll move into warrior three. So you bring the weight onto the front foot and then step forward. Reach your left toes back. You need to reach your arms forward or back. Reach your grind the head forward, chest forward. Point your toes back. And then slowly bring your fingers to the ground. Bend your left knee, bend the right knee. So you bring your left knee to the inside of the right knee. And then we move back up to warrior three. And again, bend your knees, left to right. Come back to warrior three. Mm -hmm. One more. Bend your right knee. And back to warrior three. Bend your left knee, so we'll sit down, bend the left knee and the right in front. We step the right foot on the outside of the left knee for a twist, seated twist. You slowly find your way, will be easier the next time. And press your right foot going to the ground. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Now twist to the right, bring the right arm on the inside of the right knee, maybe grab the other knee if you can, so that's okay. And reach your right arm back. Maybe you bring the hand behind your spine to support your spine to be straight, or you wrap your right arm around your waist. Inhale, lift your chest, and your shoulders down. Turn and twist with over right shoulder. And just breathe. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, turn and twist. And slowly turn back to your center. Bring both legs in front of you. Just need a moment. Let's see what is going on. Yes. We'll move into a boat pose. So again, to tune into the center, strengthen the core. You bend your knees up to your chest. Stretch your arms in front of you and slowly stretch your lean back so you balance on your sit bones and the soles of the feet come off the mat. You can stay here or either lift the shins so that the calf muscles are parallel to the floor, point your toes. Lift your chest. We'll stay here, just breathe. Shoulders back and down. Engage your core. Lift your chest again. Look forward. Point your toes, strong and straight arms. And then slowly bring your feet down, with your knees into the chest and rest your forehead on your knees. Slowly come back up. 
We go to another boat. So we slowly lean back. Chin's parallel to the floor. Lift your chest. If you feel like stretching the legs, you can make sure the toes are no higher than your eyes. You lift the chest. Straight line from the shoulders to the hips. Hips to the toes. Keep the knees bent. Lift your chest. Engage your core. Breathe into your core. One more. And slowly bring the feet down and relax your head in front of your, on your knees. And slowly come back up. You can cross your legs and go forward, hands onto the ground. Pull your toes under to step back into a down facing dog. Take three slow breaths here. Walk, step, or jump forward in between the hands. Relax down from the hips. Halfway lift, shoulders back. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, arms sideways overhead. Come up, reach your hands up into the sky and pull your hands down in front of your heart. Tune into your center. Feel your feet on the ground, your breath down into the belly. Inhale, arms sideways overhead, hands together. Inhale, reach up, exhale, bend back. Inhale, back to center. Inhale, reach up, exhale, pull forward from the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down to the floor, step back into the plank. Straight line, shoulders, hips, heels. Engage your core. Bring your right hand into the center, turn to the left, side plank, your option. Come back to full plank. And move to the other side. Think about your starfish. <laughs> and come back to full plank. And inhale. And your elbows to slowly come down to your low high cobra or upward facing dog. Lift your hips up and sit down facing dog. Take three full breaths here. Great. Now we lift the right leg, left leg up into the sky. Make sure your hips are next to each other. Press the heel away from you. Deep inhale, exhale, step your foot forward on the inside of the left hand. And come up to warrior one. Find your strength, your confidence, your center of power. Pull the shoulders down. Taking your responsibility for your own life. Following your intuitive guidance. Open up to warrior two. Sit down low. Body into the center. Reach your hands in opposite direction and look forward over the fingertips. From here, we'll move into the warrior three. So you can first stretch the front leg. Move the weight forward in front foot and step onto one leg, reaching forward, arms back or forwards. Your choice. 
Keep your core engaged to bring all the weight into your center point and down towards the earth center point. Reach your chest and chin forward. Point your toes back. And bring your hands down to the ground. Bend your front knee. Bend the right knee to the inside of the front knee. And stretch back up into your tree. Bend the front knee to come down. And stretch back up. One more, then down. Stretch back up. You can do this. That's it. You come down, bend the right knee to sit it down onto the ground. You set the left foot next, next to the front knee. Bring your left sit bone down. Inhale, reach your right arm up, twist to the left. Press the left knee out to the side to grab the other knee. Maybe bring the left hand behind your spine to straighten the spine in your twist or wrap your arm around your waist. Inhale, lift chest, shoulders down, turn, twist, and breathe. And slowly move back to your center. Good. Now we bring the feet onto the ground, knees closer to the chest. So move into our boat poses. So hug your knees into the chest. And stretch your arms forward, lean back. So also the feet come off the floor. Shins parallel to the floor. Or straight legs, your option. Shoulders back and down. Engage the core, lift the chest, keep breathing. Reach the crown of the head up, reach your arms forward, point your toes, and slowly come back down. Rest your forehead and your knees. Slowly come back up, second boat. Not sure if we did two or three in the first round. <laughs> I guess it was two. Left the chest, straight arms. Maybe pointing the toes. Keep your spine straight. Lift the chest, engage your core. Keep breathing. And feet back down on the ground, let your forehead rest. And come back up, press your legs to roll forward, blend your hands onto the mat, roll the toes under, and lift your hips up into downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. Now walk, step, or jump your feet forward in between your hands. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms like raise overhead. Reach up towards the sun, hands together. And pull the sun down into your heart, into your body. Second round, feet together, inhale, arms overhead, hands together. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, bend back. Inhale, back to center, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, 
And exhale, hands on the mat, step into plank. And come to your side plank on the left. And feel how different it already feels. Come back to the full plank. Side plank on the right. And back to center. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, upward cobra. Exhale, down dog. Take three deep breaths. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step your foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. If I move too fast, just take your time, your own pace. Exhale to warrior two. Maybe right here, step a little, sit down low. Bring all the tension to the center, the fire in your body. Reach forward, reach back. I am in my power, I am confident. Make your way to warrior three, maybe a little smaller step and then come forward to the front foot. Arms forward or back. Strong standing leg. Fingers to the ground, bend your knee to the inside of the right knee. Come back up to warrior three. Down, bring knee on the inside of the knee. Warrior three. And one more, bend your knees and back to warrior three. And then sit down with your left knee, bend in front of you, right foot over the left knee. Press the right sit bone down, inhale, reach your left arm up, twist to the right. Come into your twist. Either with the support behind the spine or not, lift the chest. Notice if your shoulders are parallel and look over the right shoulder. Lift the chest, tall spine, turn and twist. And slowly turn back to your center. Bring both feet in front of the mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Lean back and find your boat, your boat pose. Lift the chest, Navasana. Point your toes. Strong core, all the energy goes to your center. Let it burn the fire inside your body. Feet to the ground, press your forehead to your knees. Second boat, lean back, straight arms, lift your shins, parallel to the ground, lift your chest. Breathe into your center. Make it easy. Feet to the ground, rest your forehead to the knees. Now you can cross your ankles, roll forward. Step into down facing dog. Three deep breaths here. Walk, step or jump, your feet forward. 
Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arm side, knees overhead. Reach up towards the sun. <laughs> Pull your hands down in front of your heart. One more on the other side. Inhale, reach your arms up, hands together. Inhale, reach up, exhale, bend back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step into plank. Come to your side plank on either side. Reach your own starfish. Move from the center, reach your right arm up into the sky. Come back to full plank. <laughs> Move to the other side plank. And back to full plank. Inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows. Come down. And upward facing dog. Shoulders down. Front toes under. Lift up from down facing dog. Three deep breaths. Inhale, lift your left heel up. Exhale, step your foot forward on the inside of the left hand. Inhale, raise up to warrior one. Adjust your shoulders, hips next to each other. Sit down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Left knee on top of the left ankle. Reach the fingers up into the sky. Inhale. Exhale to warrior two. Sit down lower, maybe a wider step. I follow my intuitive guidance. I stand in my power. I'm confident. Make your way to your warrior three. Reach your toes back. Lift your back leg up. Engage your core. Your fingers to the ground. Bend your knees right inside the left. And slowly move back up into your warrior three. Your exhale, come back down. Knee stretch. Inhale, back up. Back down. One more up. And slowly bend to sit down, right knee in front of you, left foot over the knee. Press the left sit bone down. <clears throat> Inhale, reach your right arm up, twist to the left, press the left knee to the side with the help of the right arm. Grab the front knee. And reach your left arm around your waist. Inhale, lift your chest, shoulders down, turn twist. Look over your left shoulder. Turn into your breath. Keep the spine tall. And twist a little deeper. And slowly turn back to your center. Bend your knees to your chest. Hug your knees. Lean back for boot pose, Navasana. Lift the chest. Engage your core, bring straight lines, hips to shoulders, and hips to knees, or even ankles. Feet down, let your forehead rest here. You. Mm 
and then slowly come back into the second boat. Maybe challenge yourself if you haven't yet. Stretch your legs, point your toes, lift your chest, straighten the arms forward, roll the shoulders back and down, lift the chest, engage your core, point your toes, smile, and bring your feet down, raise your forehead and your knee. Slowly come up, push your legs, hands in front of you, roll forward, step into down facing up. Three deep breaths. Walk, step, or jump your feet forward. In between your hands, forward fold. Inhale, have to lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms slightly overhead to come up. Reach your hands up into the sky. Pull your hands down in front of the heart. Chin into your center. The golden fire inside your body. Your feet on the ground. Your breath into your belly. And make your way down onto the mat and roll up into the Savasana. And take a moment here to integrate this powerful, maybe even sweaty practice. And then we come back to the center of the body, moving into some leg lift. So you bend your knees, feet on the ground. You can bring your hands underneath your lower back, your bum, and then reach your feet up into the sky. You can also choose to do one leg first and then the other, or both legs at once. On the inhale, the legs are up. On the exhale, slowly down, and the heels will hover just above the floor. Inhale for two. Exhale down. Inhale three. Exhale down. Inhale four. And down. Inhale five. Down. Inhale six. Down. Inhale seven. Down. Inhale eight. Down. Inhale nine. Down. Inhale ten. Slowly down. One more. Inhale for eleven. And slowly, slowly, slowly go down. Hover and relax. And bend your knees, lift the sole of the feet up to the ceiling for a happy baby pose. You can grab your feet, the fingers on the outside, the ankles on top of the knees. And pull down, shoulders down. And pull your ankles down in line with the knees. Bring your tailbone a little further down. You feel your spine straighten against the mat. And release, bring the legs together and slowly back down to the ground. And 
Bend your knees, place your feet at distance on the mat. Reach your fingers to see if you can touch the heels. Move into a bridge. You can turn your hands so the backs of the hands are against the ground. And inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up. Press the big toes into the floor and squeeze your inner thighs to the midline of the body. If you notice your knees are moving to the side, bring them back to the center, towards each other. We are hip distance, lift your hips. Press your arms against the mat, lift your hips. And slowly come back down. Take the legs, relax. We'll do one more or the option for a wheel pose. So choose your own practice for now. Only do the wheel if you're comfortable with it. Take a couple of breaths, lift your hips, and slowly make your way back. First, flatten your spine on the mat. And then if you like, you can hug your knees into the chest. Draw some circles, the lower back. And make your way to your final savasana. If you feel your body needs anything else, go for it. And then just let yourself sink into the ground, into the mat. Feel the support of Mother Earth.
And slowly start to deepen your breath. In your fingertips, your toes. You can stretch yourself a little bit. And slowly roll to one side. You can stay with your eyes closed. When you're ready, make your way up to a seated position. You can still keep your eyes closed. Notice for a moment how your body feels on the inside. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. And take a moment to thank yourself for your practice, for your dedication, your time, your body, your health. Thankful for the connections that we have here in the online world, in our Saha community. And bow your head towards your heart. Aloha, Satnam. Namaste.